Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. It's a fresh day and we are in Endgame. This is the first of what I'm assuming is many fights that we're going to have between now and the end of the game. Um, and we're so far so good. Like even though it still shows a lot of enemies, uh, we're doing pretty good. I don't feel like we've been dominated by any of these enemies or anything like that. Uh, I think we've got, you know, pretty solid progress so far and we're going to continue with this fight. However... I do have an important update for everyone who has been watching and following this playthrough. And this is kind of interesting. This directly, directly relates to my story choices yesterday. So for those who weren't here yesterday, <laughs> all right, what happened was thus. There was a critical choice where you had to decide, are you gonna allow Emperor to control the Nether Stones and then go fight the Nether Brain or are you going to go illithid and control the nether stones and fight the nether brain? Is Karlak going to go illithid and use the nether stones to fight the nether brain? Or are you going to have the uh, Githyanki prince, Orpheus, do it? We ultimately decided on the Githyanki prince, Orpheus. And that's the plot I, I selected. Now, immediately when we did this, what happened was Emperor said, well, since you're now against me, I'm going to go to team up with the Nether Brain. He warped out of the artifact and left, and that's it. That's the last we saw of him, okay? <clears throat> now, I immediately said, there's no way we could have trusted that guy. The entire game, he's trying to act friendly and protect you, but at the same time, he keeps trying to say, you need to go Illithid, you need to go Illithid, you need to go Illithid, and you keep telling him no. And he just keeps pushing it anyway, like he doesn't respect your decision you don't want to become an illithid. So just based off of that fact, I always suspected something was going wrong. Also the fact that he was very deceptive the whole first half of the game. He didn't reveal who he was until Act 3. Right? All this stuff going on. So come to find out, there has been a subplot. Oh, when we first found out about the Emperor, if you remember, he started discussing about his time when he first went illithid and how his, he got influence on Baldur's Gate. And he started talking about this plot line with uh, Duke, Duke Selene, Selena. I forgot the name of the Duke, okay? But basically she was a, a, a leader in the region and he became befriending with her. And that's how he had all his influence because she was a political leader, but he was friends with her. And so he was helping her rule and stuff like that. Stelman, thank you, it was Duke Stelman. That's correct, all right? So, but then he says, unfortunately she died and basically it led to a lot of bad stuff happening and stuff like that. But that's where he leaves it, right? And all we know is, you know, from piece together, from pieces of the game, trying to figure out what actually happened with that situation. Well, guess what? Last stream, right before we came here to the endgame area to fight the Netherbrain, remember? We found a log. And if you remember the log, it was between Gortash talking with the Emperor. And Gortash interrogated the Emperor, and the Emperor basically said, that he knows that if he's far enough away from the nether brain that he can leave its control and therefore he's not under the control of the absolute as long as he can separate and it's his plans to kind of stay away from the absolute forever so that he can stay independent correct but he's confident that if he gets far enough away from the absolute he can become an independent thinker again he won't be controlled by this nether brain because that happened once and it happened again. In fact, he even admitted to Gortash, for 13 and a half years, I pretended to be under the influence of the Absolute when I really wasn't. He admits this in the log, okay? Also, we found a log in Gortash's throne room and we had already read that log somewhere else. I think we had actually read it in the um, the vaults as well, the, the uh, counting house. So there's a log that's talking about Duke Stelmay. And the log basically says that one day, like Duke Stelmane's servants or whoever walked in and found her acting crazy. She was drooling at the mouth and she was eating flesh and they thought, is she eating food? No, she was eating brains, okay? And from that moment on, basically they said she was crazy and you know, she never was herself again and then eventually she died, all right? So we have all this weird information, but we don't have a story to piece it together. Like, what does this all mean? Well, I found out that there is one situation in the game that you can create where you will actually get a, a full-on explanation of the Emperor and his intentions. 
but there's only one situation you can create to do it and i never did it and most people don't so there's some people who go through the entire game making these choices okay and the game ends in one scenario and people thought they had a good ending and they actually have a bad ending but the game doesn't give you the full ending so you don't know that so allow me to explain because the entire game i kept telling you guys i don't trust emperor at first i didn't trust whoever this mythical guardian angel being was right and then i didn't trust emperor okay so basically if you either insult the emperor's looks a ton or if you completely 100 percent refuse to side with him he reveals the truth he shows you in a cutscene, a secret cutscene, where it's him and duke stelman and what actually happens is he shows you the real relationship they had he was not friends with duke stelman he was psychically controlling duke stelman the entire time they never were friends the moment he met her he was psychically controlling her and making her be his friend he has her drinking with him he has her doing all this stuff and it's all him a hundred percent controlling duke stelman so what ended up happening was after all this mind control that he was doing for years of duke stelman she basically snapped and lost her mind and became like what is what does the mind flayer do he eats brains so she started eating brains because she lost her mind she thought she was like a mind flayer so that's how she snapped and basically went nuts and then eventually died okay so basically even emperor is evil he even though the entire game he's acting like your friend he's pretending you it's all means to an end much like how the nether brain says oh this was all my plan that actually was all the emperor's plan his plan is to make you think he's your friend through every single level of the game so at the end you give him the crown and he'll disappear and apparently if you give him the crown at the end of the game he disappears and the game ends but it's actually the bad ending in the bat he actually later on years down the line will eventually come and take everything over with the crown just not immediate so you're fooled into thinking this false sense of security that you made the right choice and got the right ending so anyone who played this game and sided with emperor did the bad ending and doesn't even know it because the game doesn't show you years down the line what happens okay so that's pretty insane if you remember my choices were always i i'll go along with the emperor but i don't fully trust him and this is so reflected with what happened yesterday okay yesterday i told him no i'm not going to give you the nether stone someone else is going to go illicit and do it and he got immediately pissy and said well then i'm going to go side with the nether brain it's like wait 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 what the entire game, the plot is you want to stop the nether brain. You don't trust it. It's going to take control of everything. Now, because I won't give you the nether stones, so you'll be in control, you leave and go join the nether brain? What the hell? So it's just revealed his true intentions all along. It's my way or the highway. Either I'm going to be in control or no one will be in control. And that's it. So he's going to go cause chaos. And ultimately, what I think he wants to do is he wants to beat you. And then eventually, remember, in his log with Gortash, he says, I can pretend to be in the control of the Netherbrain. For 13 and a half years, I did it, but I can do it again. And then basically what he's going to try to do is find someone else to help him to overthrow the Netherbrain down the line. So you were his grand plan. The moment you say, I'm not going to side with you, I'm going to have someone else use the Nether Stones, he gets pissy and leaves because it's not his plan anymore. And now he thinks, I'll just redo this, you know, in another decade or two. So... There you go. So he was actually a villain the whole time, and there's no way you would know that unless you get that one cutscene showing that he never was friends with Duke Stelman. He always was controlling the whole kingdom through psychic powers. So, is there a save the world ending? I don't know. I don't know what the outcome of my ending is going to be. I chose to make Orpheus and Elithid have him use the Nether Stone, and if you remember what Orpheus said, once we beat Netherbrain, kill me. That would mean no one has control of the crown. So maybe that's the save the world ending. I don't know. We'll have to find out because that's where we're headed. Okay? But if I had sided with Emperor, that's the actual bad ending of the game and people don't realize that. Pretty interesting, huh? Okay. All right. Uh, I received a $5 tip to get things started here today. From Adam Theory. He says, level one goal. Let's go. Thank you very much, Adam. And indeed, with that $5 tip, it is now time for the Gunner Glasses. 
You know what's really funny about all of this? There are people who are so simple-minded and black and white thinkers that because I've criticized this game over the course of me playing it now 140 hours, they think that I don't like it and I'm secretly just playing it to get views or something. And it's like, first of all, the game is bringing in no views. This, the popularity of this game waned on my channel like two months ago, you know? I barely get 200 views a video on this playthrough. And number two, why would I be so interested in the lore of the game unless I liked it, right? I, I do like the game. I don't think it's the best game ever made, but I do definitely like the game, so. Uh, Highs Darkness says, what's gonna happen to Lazel's people without the prince? Well, if you remember, what he said to Voss was, or what he said to us, actually, to Lazel was, well, I will save everyone by becoming a Lithid. I'll make the ultimate sacrifice. Tell my story. If you tell my story to the Gith people, they're going to be inspired to know what really happened here, and they're going to revolt against Talon. Or Va Vulcan, excuse me. Vulcan. That's what he said. That's what he said in the dialogue. So, will that actually come to pass? I have no clue. But let's see what happens, okay? All right, well, let's continue with this fight. We just killed this guy. We have no one up here anymore to fight. They're all dead. Everyone is down on the ground, right? We have a bunch of people, like, down here. Yeah. There's a guy right there. There's two standing right there. There's one there. We've got Lazelle about to go ham on this guy. These two, actually, right? And then we have a grouping over here. So Lazelle's probably going to take care of a bunch. I don't think she's going to die to any of these, honestly. But we will have to get our party across at some point or into range to hit all these guys that are like chilling on the other side okay now i guess the question is do i want to summon more people or do i just want to like maybe teleport someone over there she has misty step so i could like misty step myself into the action over here. Like, maybe to the middle, and then I could activate Guardians. You know, and deal some damage or whatever. Like, I could do that. Hmm. How many allies have I spawned? Only the one group. The Harpers. They were up here sniping down. I haven't done anything else yet. I'm thinking I want Shadowheart to go down there into the fray, because right now everyone's kind of so far away. I think I am going to Misty Step over here. And then I think I'm going to use... Guardians. We'll do a level 4. Here we go. And I think that's it for the turn. So she's going to help... She's going to back up Lazel because Lazel's probably going to need healing. Take out all those guys. So wait, can I, I'm curious. Could I do this and then do this? Will this work? No, it doesn't du double deal damage. I just wanted to try it and it doesn't double deal damage. That sucks. It would've been cool if it did. All right, let's get her out of here. All right. They have, like, the worst accuracy. It's like it's just like a bunch of bodies, but the bodies don't do anything useful. Missed. Necro dick. Necromites. Alright, well, we got Karlak. Uh, and there's no enemies here. So, again, we gotta kind of have Karlak, like, like, run up, maybe? We will have her dash up to this guy. How far can she move? She can move to here. Her jump is an action. Oh no, her jump is a bonus action. Okay. Missed. Okay. Return, menacing attack. How is it missing? 94% and it missed? You're so full of shit, dude. Really, the game is so full of shit. 
They suck. They miss every attack. This guy out if we can, right? You know what I could do? Oh, they moved. I was gonna say, I could shoot a bolt down there. There's four of them down there. Let's try this. See what happens. He died. He died. He's prone. I killed multiple guys right there. And then one of them is prone. Okay. I feel like the Harpers and, and also Orpheus and the Jinn are good enough to take out these little guys. These two. So I'm not feeling like worried. I want to move. I want to start helping my team over here. Did I rejuvenate a spell slot? I think I will. I think I'll rejuvenate a level 6 spell slot. Another step forward. Okay. All right, Lazelle, it's time to go to town. You got two guys right next to you. I don't think the swinging attack will work, though. Oh, it will? Okay. Zoop! Hit them both. That's excellent. Can't use it again, though. Only 1 to 10 damage? That's lame. Only 1 to 10? That's so weak. Why? Wow, Who would want to use that at this point in the game? Let's try a trip attack. Done. Oh, there's a Necromite? There's a Necromite right there. I didn't even know. Damn! She wiped them out of existence. Yes, she did. She killed three. We have one, two, two in the building. We have one up there. So we have three more right there. Where are the... Oh, I was going to say, where the hell are the other Mind Flayers? There's one right there. There's another Mind Flayer somewhere. I don't even know where the hell he is. Where is he hanging out? I don't see him. Hmm. I guess we'll run into him when it's his turn. I don't know where the hell he's standing. I don't see him anywhere. All right, we're just going to keep moving since we got more enemies that way, right? I guess what I should do is not block the door. Like, maybe stand here, but not block the door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what? I didn't even see him. Holy shit, he was there the whole time. I never even saw this guy. Well, he missed. He fucking missed. Oh, let's see here. The Jin. Let's have the Jin attack some of these guys if he can, right? We can shifting win right over here. Don't get inhale. Thunder wave. Do thunder wave. Target is blocked. What? Oh, he's not. Saved. He didn't get pushed. Okay. What's going on? It is Orpheus's turn. And Orpheus reached this guy. Oh. Uh, if he levitates, do you think he can reach the guy? Does it use an action? 
levitate? It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's a separate move that doesn't use an action, which is pretty darn cool. Okay. Return. Extract the brain. Well, he's not stun prone, swooping, or unconscious. I guess we could do Mind Blast. Do Mind Blast. But we also have Potent Blast. It's only if they were concentrating, though, right? From what I can see. I'll try this. He got stunned, and his concentration is broken. Super good. And this is a bonus action that's super good, too. And he's on his ass with one HP. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rubber Stack says, Mind Flayers are incredibly OP. I had Carlyle become a Mind Flayer. I could go to one end of the map instantly. All right, Harpers. Here they come. Coming to help. They murdered him. <laughs> yep, they're gonna get the other guy that's prone now. See, the Harpers are gonna take him out. That's good. So Shadow Heart, I'm gonna have Karlak and Darkscale Phil take out this Illithid. I'm not too worried. I'm gonna have Shadow Heart come up here and try to help uh, Lazel. <laughs> I guess the question is, what should we do? What do I want to do? I don't know. I don't want to go too crazy. I mean, I could easily do like a level 5 flame strike spell. Oh, excuse me. Those aren't the Harpers. Those are the Gur Monster Hunters. My bad. Those are the Monster Hunters who are helping us because we did the, um... We did the quest line to kill the Kazador. So my bad. I'm saying the wrong thing. Those are the Monster Hunters. We do this. How many will this hit? Three? It'll hit all three. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's do this. And it'll hit whatever that, split, that switch is. What happened? I couldn't even see. It vaporized the Necromite. It hurt the Mistress of Souls pretty bad. And it hurt the Mind Flayer pretty bad. So it was a pretty good move. Do I want to summon, like, a spirit weapon for an extra turn? I don't really think so. And I really don't want to waste a healing spell right now because we don't need it. But we honestly don't have much to do here. I guess we could cast Sanctuary on Lazel just so they don't deal any damage to her until she attacks. Do that. Okay. We're doing very good. There's not many enemies left. Okay, ended my turn. Here we go. Made out of the ice. All right, Karlak. Now, this guy has a shell on him. What does that do? Immune to magic missile. Armor class increased by five. So he has crazy good armor right now. Okay. Say bye -bye. Okay. So much for him. That was easy peasy. Okay, uh, well, she has another turn, but really she doesn't have much she can do. Yeah, there's not much she can really do here. I don't think she's in range to hit anyone with her bow. Where's the enemy of the guy? Where's the guy who just got out of the ice? I can't even see him. He's here somewhere. He's like blending in. Right, we hit him with the ice. He crawled up. Where did he go? <laughs> Where the hell did I certainly I don't see him. Is that... No, where the fuck... What the... What the... I couldn't even see this one either. Are you kidding? They're sitting right next to me. I couldn't even see them. Holy shit. All right, we'll do a menacing attack. Oh! Couldn't even see the enemy standing right next to me. They're blending in so well. Man. 
missed. Duh. Missed again. You totally suck. And then went back up the ladder like a wimp. <laughs> you should be frightened. Bionic backlash. Infernal resistance. Where's this thing going? Is it running away? I think it's running away. Okay. Finish this guy. He only has 13 HP. Done. Good night. Okay. Uh, let's start moving this way. really have much else I can do, so I guess that's my turn. I do have a level 6 spell that I rejuvenated whenever I want to use it, but I'm not going to use it now. Lazelle's turn next. There's going to be an ass whooping. Fireball's only level 3. Okay. Counter spell. No fireball for you, bitch. <laughs> Love it. No magic for you, stupid. I'm trying to incubate the dead again. Okay, Lazel. I think Lazel should go after the Mind Flayer. I think that's the better move here. Let's go for Troop Attack on the Mind Flayer. No miss. Of course it missed. Because the game is full of shit. <laughs> Full of shit. Guess what? I didn't miss that time. I fucking critical hit his ass. Deader than dead, baby. Bummer is I don't have enough movement to get up here and kill this person. Right? So, I guess, sadly, we're going to have some actions wasted. Unless I eat? Hold on. What's this? She can get as far as here? She can barely get to the door. Look. I don't think they're going to let her leap up there. They're going to say it's too tall, right? Uh, yeah, they're not letting me. Not enough movement. Darn! I have no movement to, to jump anywhere. So basically, my, my action's wasted. There's no way they're going to say I can hit this person. Nope. Ah, sucks. Full action waste. Two actions wasted. Can't do shit. Yeah, no way to get extra movement or anything. I even have my bonus attack I can't use. What a shame. I'm missing like three turns now. Can't use them at all, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Okay. What a shame. Okay. Our gin buddy. We've got... Wait, isn't there another enemy up here? There is. He's right here. Dude. He's sneaking in the bush, and I could barely see him because of that. Haha, <laughs> he's in the fucking bush. Target is blocked. How is it blocked? He's in a fucking bush? You're serious? Target is blocked. Why are you going tell me this fucker's blocked? Game blocked now. Target is blocked. This bush defends him against all my special abilities. What a jerk. Target is blocked. It's a really thick bush, man. Fuck out of here, stupid thing. Yeah, I block this. He still didn't die. Damn, this guy's resilient. He only did like one damage. God damn. Wait a minute, I get an extra... Why did it use... I'm so confused. It looks like you can do anything at any time with this character. You see that? Yeah. This is really confusing. I 
I don't even understand it. I don't even know how you can use him. Because he's like so powerful. Look, he can come over here now. All right, go over there and start helping them. We're almost one. We only have like two enemies left. We almost won the fight. Orpheus. We're all teaming up together here. We didn't even need anyone but the monster hunters for this. Okay. Step one, walk one step over here. Step two, walk down here. Have to keep going. Miss stupid. So much for that. <laughs> so 29 health. And I could just use a ranged attack. Let's do a radiant damage ranged attack. Not enough movement. Wow. Here her shot is super short or she just doesn't have the angle, I guess. Oh, okay. Same thing here, like she wouldn't be able to do the ranged attack. No, she could do it. She's just an idiot. She she has to walk up to do the special one. Makes no sense. Uh, do I want to waste a spell? I guess I could do a level one spell. Do a level one guiding bolt. Still can't do it. Not enough movement. Good lord, this is stupid. All right, we're just gonna fucking do a, a bow attack. That's gonna probably miss. Yep. Yep. And that's really it. I don't really have to do anything else, right? Yeah, we're good. I'm not even gonna waste waste anything else. Okay, everyone's dead. There's no enemies here. So, Karlak is going to try. Really, there's two enemies left, right? There's this one here, the one up there, the, the stupid thing down there, and is that it, or is there one more? No, there's... No, there says there's... No, there's three. There's only three left. Did she jump down here? No. Of course she can't. Why would she be able to jump down there? What a ridiculous thing to say, right? No surrender. No. Sucks. Can't get down there. I'm gonna guess they're gonna say it's too far. Of course, look! Of course, what about this? Alright, at least 50% cannot reach. Cannot reach, it got a critical hit. What? Cannot reach, critical hit. Amazing. <laughs> Whatever. Here you go. Here you go. Throw the goblin tracker. Hoo ya! I murdered her with the goblin tracker's dead body. Amazing. Gotta use those bodies for something, man. They're taking up all this space. He literally just went down that ladder, and now he's going back up the fucking ladder. What is this stupid enemy doing? What a fucking moron. Alright, there's just these two left. What's up, oh, Maria? How are you? A whopping four damage. Take that, vile beastie. I'm fury. I, am death. I would just like to say thank you for coming over here. You saved me the trouble of having to walk somewhere else. And you instantly died. You're really making my job easy. You bow, or you break Hello! <laughs> Hello! You fuck. How about this? Yah! Almost dead. This is the last enemy. This is it, so... I mean, he can't even do anything, right? Oh, 
Does he have a healing ability? No. I was gonna say, can he heal my party members? Nope. Nope. What a fight this was. We were completely overpowered for this fight. Absolutely ridiculous. Can't reach. Uh, I don't think you can reach. Mind Sanctuary? Sculpt a magical nexus that allows those within to take actions and bonus action interchangeably? <laughs> what? He's, he's so brokenly good. Devour your foe. I can't reach. I guess there's nothing I can do because I can't reach. It's a waste of a turn. How do I deal with all the enemies here? I, I flanked them from the side. So when the fight started, when this fight started, I didn't enter from the front. Like, it's intended that you're entering from the entrance here, in which case they'll have the advantage. I use the side entrance. There's a way to crawl around the side and enter from the side. And when I did that, I already had, I was right here. I climbed up the side of the castle here and I climbed up here. So when I aggroed, I was already halfway in. So I was able to take out the mind flayers and all the shit that was concentrated here. And it completely screwed them up. They didn't have any kind of formation because I flanked them. So flanking was definitely the way to go. Um, what I'm to understand if you use pure stealth, you can just skip the whole fight too. Okay, who am I? Shadowheart? heavy to throw. Oh, not enough movement to grab this thing. I totally wanted to throw the body. They won't let me. Not enough movement. And they're saying he's too heavy to throw, which makes no sense. The normal body guy, yeah, he's too heavy to throw. That's stupid. So now they get one more turn. How, how lame. Orpheus just took 14 damage. Fuck. Who is this? Oh, it's me. Gone. Ass is whooped, right? Ass is completely whooped. Pretty easy. Not a big deal at all. Did the uh, hunters take off? Our Jin is still with us. Of course, Orpheus is still with us. I think the hunters took off, right? They're not here for the fight, so let's save. Thank you, X-Shooter, for 22 months as a member. I really appreciate that, X-Shooter. Thank you for the support. All right, so I don't even know where we're going, actually. East? I guess we go east and we go this way. Oh, excuse me. fuck is that? That's the area we've been to. We're almost there. Look. Get to the nether brain. Uh, should I short rest? Will there be an opportunity to heal? What do you guys think? Should I use a short rest here since I have limited time? You guys know better than me if it makes sense to short rest or 
just continue on. There's a full heal at the end, so I should short rest. All right. Up back. But you be telling me the high hall. Looks like part of the nether brain, but we'll need to be higher up to climb it. Huh. I wonder how many more fights there are before Ned is there for it. Oh, what the? Whoa, what's going on? Need to get to the break now. Where are the enemies? There's one on the stairs. All I see is the one on the stairs. Huh. What is this? What the fuck is this? Are we being targeted? going on. Anyway, I think we have to get out of there. This looks like they're targeting us. Does it not? Do these, like, targets? Like, those ships are gonna fire down on us or something. Right? That's what it looks like to me. Soldier. Gotta love those critical misses. Yeah! Critical missing, critical missing. Kiss my ass. Use frenzy right now. Shit, they look like targets, so I guess I should land just outside of the target. It's not clear what this is, and there's nothing to tell you what it is, right? There's no way to see what this is. It's stupid. Why can't I tell what this, this circle is? Another new game mechanic, never explain, and I'm supposed to just know what the fuck's going on. I have no idea. It could be a target, it could be a safe spot, I don't fucking know. The game has never should have done this before. Just figure it out, and if you die, reload, right? How about, tell me how the fuck to play the game, game, you fucking stupid thing. You're so annoying. So fucking annoying. Just wants to piss me off. Can I get a brain drunk? Find out. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. What the fuck? Time to push my luck again. No, exploring is not part of the fun. It's part of the frustration. You need to find when you're 140 forward. hours into a game, you just want to fucking finish it. You don't want to have to learn new fucking bullshit mechanics at the end. It's so dumb. I don't get my free flight? Oh, because I, did I didn't cast a spell. I did a cantrip. That's why. Victory away. can't reach them. But I can use a bow and arrow. Fucking missed, you fucker. Fucking missed, you fucking piece of fucking shit fuck. Low. Level 3 transmutation spell. All right. Oh, the brains, the 
brains, the brains. Like devour, can he eat it? Didn't it say he could eat someone for five turns? Devour your foe, lowering all their ability scores by five, and why each one's subsequent turn you regain two to twenty hit points per turn. This lasts five turns, and then the user is left prone. Oh, the target is left prone. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. Can you get up there? Ah! Wow, that worked well. Well, either some of us are gonna get fucked up or some of us are gonna be fine. I have no idea. I feel like these are targets. So I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on Lazelle and see what happens. It's probably not going to work, but I'm gonna try anyway. I really don't have anything else to do right now. I don't wanna waste any spell slots or anything, so fuck it. Ain't nothing happened. There was no cannons or anything. So what? I don't even understand. Nothing happened at all? Nothing happened at all. Okay. No, why would I haste my characters? Do you think I need it in this fight? I don't need haste in this fight. These guys are easy. There's very few of them. The question is, how do I get up there? There's no ladder. What is this glowing spot? I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> yes. We're all terrible fighters, right? The statue was highlighted for a second. What statue? What? Statue? A crumbling statue. Oh, it's like a puzzle. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's a puzzle. Get it? He needs to go hit the crumbling statue. It did absolutely nothing. Medium toughness. <laughs> Medium toughness. I couldn't do anything. I can't even read what medium toughness means. It won't say. Look. Y'all got slowed. Best be on my way. Landscapers outside. Darn, I wanted to break the concentration. It did not work. Indeed, it did not.
All right, let me uh close the window because the landscapers are out there. You need to do at least 22 damage in a single hit to the statue for it to do damage. Oh, okay. How many times do the landscapers work? Once a week. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday they're here. Oh, okay. So she would have to hit this for 22 damage. Not enough resources. Bonus action. Why does she need a bonus action to push it? How does that make sense? This doesn't make any sense. Why does she need a bonus action to push this? It should be an action, not a bonus action. It makes no sense. This game makes no fucking sense of anything. Nothing in the game makes any sense. It's a complete nonsensical game. on Orpheus? Eh, I'm not even gonna bother. Let him hit Orpheus with it. It's 20 damage, big deal. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, uh, can I fly up there? Here. that is. Anyone know what the fuck that is? I have no clue. Well, he can't seem to do anything. If I dash, he still can't reach the destination. But now I can levitate. Oh! What is, what is that? Is that a target? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Now I have no turn to do anything. Okay, great. Great me. turn. Good work. On the Those were targets. Oh, and reinforcements. Okay. That was quite possibly the worst volley I've ever seen in my life. Like, they didn't do jack diddly shit, right? Too high, can't make it up there. Can she climb up here and then jump? Get it, just go up here, I guess. I can't. Fucking piece of shit! It's fucking work, you dunk! Incoming. What is she doing? Why didn't she walk up here? Still not fucking dead. Finally killed her. 
That shit took forever. Yeah, I can't even use my... Unless I use Hellcrawler, but... You need a short rest to get that back. We might not even do a short rest after this fight, the way it's going. Yeah, I won't waste it. Ouch! Hell of an end. I wonder if this is worth the cost. A painful end for him. <laughs> All right. Where's Lazel, by the way? Here? No. Here? I wonder if she'll be able to make it up there and fight these guys or not. The bummer is that these explode. So you know what? It's probably ain't gonna work because of the range. They're gonna say you have no line of yeah, you have no line of sight. Can I just cast a spell? They're probably just gonna say path interrupted no matter what. Wow, the fly is completely worthless. Yeah. So I used fly, but it doesn't let me fly. Look. It doesn't... I can't fly. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now... Okay, I want to kill them. I want them to die there. So that they'll push into him and they'll explode and do damage to him. But the question is, can I even do that? Will they let me? Nope, they're gonna it's gonna push my guys, see? Try throwing the fireball, but it probably ain't gonna do enough damage. I need something that's gonna deal the damage. I definitely don't wanna waste my chain lightning here. That would be a waste. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Shit. Shit. I thought I had a lightning bolt spell. Guess I don't. You get a long rest after this fight? Is that true? If that's true, I'll use it. Just don't screw me. Am I getting a long rest after this fight? Then I'll kill these guys right now. There we go. And explode. So much for reinforcements. Instant death to the reinforcements. That was amazing. I will ascend. That's a hell of a jump. That is so cool. What a jump. I'll let him cast Blight. I won't. Well, we're going to use it. You're going to get a oh, full rest, right? Okay. Counter spell and psionic backlash. These guys stand zero chance against me. Zero. I'm going to hit him with that tentacle whip. Nice. The only bummer is, I think they're in the target. I don't know if that thing gets a turn right now or not. Damn, he fucking flew up like Superman. Cool. Good for now. I don't even know where we're going, actually. 
And then there's more enemies back here. Where the fuck are we going? We're trying to get behind it? Or... If that's the case, this is where we're going. Right here, right? This door is where we're going? Oh, see, I didn't even know that. That's where we're going. Shit, if I had known that... Well, that kind of sucks. I didn't understand that. I can't hit this guy. He's out of range. I guess he's just gonna chill. You're absolutely right. I need to split the part. I also need to get everyone out of harm's way. Of these targets, right? Can't reach destination. Are you fucking serious? What, can I walk like two feet? On my way. Why can't she walk up this? Look. The game will not let Shadowheart walk up this. What the fuck? Why can't I walk up this? Look at this dumb shit. Can't reach destination. Why can't I walk up this? This is trash. Oh my god. There's a clear fucking space right fucking here to walk up it. Oh, you can't walk up that. Fuck you. There. There, you stupid game. God damn, this game is frustrating, man. Well, we're gonna get hit, and there's nothing I can do about it. We're definitely taking damage here. That hurt. Oh, come on! What the f- Did it kill us? I think we died. Who died? It killed half my party. It killed half my party. Who's dead? Lazel. Lazel is dead. She was right here, and I it blasted her off. So Lazel is dead. Unbelievable. Dark scale fill is fucked up. I'll help you. I can't even see the ring. Like, is this a... Is this a target? I can't tell what's a target and what's not. I guess I'm out of the target now. can't do this because target is out of sight. Yeah, this sucks. This fight is shit. Alright, I guess with the part. I'll be back. Fuck this.